Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Today I'm just gonna get ready. I'm first gonna do my makeup, then we're gonna get dressed with the Punk Rave clothes that is in sponsorship with Punk Rave. And then we're also gonna do my hair. As you guys can see, my hair is in heatless curls. Heatless curls is like, it has real revolutionized my life and you're gonna be shook when you see how pretty this will be but the makeup part that we're gonna start off with i'm so excited because i have so many new launches like the juvia's place liquid illuminizers and then the new anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow palette called cosmos that i have not even opened up because i want to do it with you guys i also got their lip glosses that we're gonna try out and yeah i'm so excited so let's just uh, get right into it to start us off, I will go in with the KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation. This is in light 12, which could be a little bit too light for me now as I am very uh, fake tan. I don't know if you can see, I have some fake freckles and then I have like a line right here of fake tan. I don't know how that happened, but it happened and uh, yeah, let's just not talk about it. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this. I have a... There we go. <laughs> first impression of this one and I absolutely loved it. You can go ahead and shake it out, but spoiler alert, I really liked it. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in with a LH Cosmetics uh, sponge. I usually go in with brushes as you guys know, but just for today I wanted to try out something new. Just wanted to show you guys the skin. How pretty is that? This foundation really is amazing. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with a brand new serum concealer from NYX Professional Makeup. I was gonna say the body shop. This is actually one of my favorite concealers still to this day. And I just found these like tiny beauty blenders. I've used them before, but it's just so unnecessary as it's just literally the same thing as using the tip here. But I just wanna be a little bit extra so i'm gonna go in with my mini um beauty blender and just go ahead and use that underneath my eyes and this is a lighter color or shade so it would just highlight a little bit i'm also gonna do the sides of my nose because that just makes my nose look a little bit slimmer also gonna use a little bit here because i want to highlight my chin okay that took way too long as it was so hard to just hold on to this yeah gonna throw that away probably and now i gotta look uh so i don't miss any products i have the liquid ooh, highlighters from juvia's place then i also have a bronzer from lh cosmetic i do also have a new pixie bronzers you know what i'm gonna try the dark one let's see if i should just it does feel like it is a little bit purple undertone so this might not be for my uh skin tone but i'm just gonna go with it <laughs> and i'm just gonna bronze a little bit like that I'm just gonna blend it in with the sponge again Hmm, didn't really do a lot. Okay, that did more. Yeah, kind of cute, but also not a huge difference. I absolutely love Pixie's um, blushes that looks like this. I'm just gonna go in with the lighter one, put some on my sponge, and then go in. Mm -hmm. It does have a really beautiful glow but i kind of had that before pretty but it's just not a lot of color to it now let's go in with the bronzer and this kind of scares me because you guys know i do not go in with bronzer that often and i do not go in with powder bronzer <laughs> i hope that you guys can see it has some sort of shimmer in it it's really pretty I'm just gonna go in with a little bit on my brush Make sure I don't have too much. Okay. That is pretty. That is really pretty. 
I love that it still has this sort of glow to it. And, oh, maybe that was a little bit too much. Pull this down a little bit. I'm just gonna use some underneath the tip here and then right over top. Okay, that is really, really pretty. I hope that you guys can see that it still has this sort of shimmer to it. Then we have two new Duo Dimension blushes. I'm gonna go in with the darker one called Scope. Um, this whole palette is called Area. And let's see. This also has some sort of glow or shimmer to it. That is super pretty. Let's go in with the lighter one as well. Just use this like on top to blend it in to the under eye maybe. Now for the liquid illuminators. These are called the Nubian Glow Liquid Luminizer in five different shades. So here we have all of them. I don't know if you can see, but this one is more glittery and this is no glitter at all. It's only shimmer. So the two lighter shades is only shimmer and the other three have pure glitter in it. If I can just get it up. How am I gonna get this up? Oh my God, I can't get it up. Oh, this was super easy too. <laughs> um, can you see that? Can you see it? No, oh, you missed it. Okay, when I pull, pull it up, it was like magnetic. Okay. <gasps> Could you see that? Why does it do that? Okay, wait. I don't know if you can see, but the one, like the fluff on the one has like been pulled off on both sides. But now when we have this up, I'm just gonna go in with the ivory, what was it called? Ivory light. I already am quite glowy, obviously, but yeah. I love liquid highlighter. Gonna pull it all the way up here. Okay, that is really pretty, but I do think that I would prefer a lighter shade, at least for the center of my face. So let's just go ahead and use Starstruck. Why does it do that all the time when I open it up? And there's something wrong with this wand. It just like pulls off. I just got a bunch of like fluff inside the um, highlighter. That's not good. It's gonna go in and highlight the tip of my nose. Really pretty. Really pretty, I gotta say. And then I'm gonna go in with the RCMA Pressed Powder in Amethyst. It doesn't make your under eyes or whatever you put it pink, but it just has like a hint of it. And it is so pretty, especially underneath the eyes. I don't know if you can see difference from here and there. I'm just gonna go ahead and powder here. I'm gonna go in with a little bit. I'm just gonna go in with my Warping palette and use coffee just to contour my nose a tiny, tiny bit. I'm just gonna do what I normally do, put like it all around the little tip and then lightly go in with it on the sides here and blend it up to my brow. Oh, this was just oh, the best. Summer has really arrived now in Stockholm and it is so warm here in my studio. And now for the eyes, we have two different uh, palettes to work with and choose from. Maybe we'll go in with a little bit of both. This is the LH Cosmetics Aim Higher palette. It was released yesterday and it is inspired by climbing because Linda Halberg, that is the creator of LH Cosmetics, is a climber, just like me. <laughs> Although she's a lot better than me. <laughs> so we have a cool toned palette like this, by the way. I'm just gonna show you guys this uh, yellow one. It is actually like a hint of pink, I know. I don't even know if you guys can see that. But then we also have the Cosmos palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And you guys know what I think of Anastasia Beverly Hills and their palettes. I love them. 
that looks like this. It is actually quite hard to impress me with a eyeshadow palette nowadays. I gotta say, I really like these like iridescent um, kind of shades. Like this one, obviously we're gonna go in with that. And this one, oh my god, this one also so pretty. I do understand why they added these like earthy matte colors but it would be more of a wow factor it was if it was just colors like this okay so i swatched super cluster quasar and supernova which one should we go for then i think we're gonna try out a halo kind of eye so i'm gonna go in with slab at first so we're gonna go in the inner corner here and then the outer corner and connect them then go in with the gray called crimp and I'm gonna go in with that on the same places but not blend it out as much then a little bit underneath here then I think I'm gonna go in with a even smaller brush and then go in with dino and maybe a little bit of the black I'm gonna use this on the same places again but this one even more not blend it out just blend it into the shade that we already have laid down so we don't have black all the way up here you know i'm telling you guys not to go in with the black all over the eyes but that's just not <laughs> something that i am myself listening to as you guys can see i really want to go in with sun the like golden shade because it has a hue of pink i can see i'm gonna go in with this on the sides here i'm gonna go in with that on the sides here i'm actually gonna go in with orion the pink and a first whoa that is so pretty i kind of want to apply it even higher i'm gonna go in with supernova so we won't do any of the blue probably oh this is so pretty, but also I can imagine that you guys are not really seeing what I'm seeing. I'm just gonna dab that on top. Now I'm literally using it all over. I think I'm gonna do it in the middle. Oh, let's just go ahead and use that in the inner corner as well. I am tempted <laughs> to go in with Quasar and just use it here in the outer corner and here where I used all of the matte shades. And you can't stop me, so <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Honestly, I kinda love it. I love it. I'm getting mermaid vibes. This is maybe not an eyeshadow look for everyone, and it's not maybe flattering in any way, but it is fun. I have been inspired by Naomi John to uh, do a little bit of uh, cuts in my eyebrows so we're gonna do that <laughs> like that and then do one here and then one there so there we have the eyelashes on and they are looking so darn cute now for the lips we have two brand new lip liners from lh cosmetics that also launched yesterday we have the shade bite and edge and i think we're just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a 90s look. I'll go in with the dark one at first in the outer corner and just do that here in the middle. Don't know if I love that together with this. Just gonna get rid of that and then go in with my favorite lip liner. As you guys can see, it has been a favorite of mine for so long and they unfortunately do not sell. I'm so sad. This is the Lime Crime in Topist, and it's just the perfect nude but cool toned shade. I wonder if we should just go in with a gloss that has a little bit of a warmer tone. I've gotten all of the new lip glosses. I don't know if these are new. I'm kind of confused, but I'm just going to go ahead and take three of them that looks cool toned. Guava. Cotton Candy and Dusty Rose. I kind of want to go in with Cotton Candy. Okay, let's see. I actually don't like lip glosses that are very pigmented. 
when it comes to glossy lip glosses i do like transparent ones this was very very pigmented and i don't know okay the lips really do match the eyes right now but i don't know if i love it let me just go ahead and use a little bit more setting spray and then let's put on a cool outfit from punk rave and then it is time for the outfit and as you guys can see i'm not very fashionable right now i have my comfy pants on which i wear when i'm filming but this part is sponsored by punk rave and if you don't know about punk rave it is a online web shop um clothing web shop that has all sorts of alternative clothes that fits me perfectly and a lot of you guys i'm sure and they have really cool like unique pieces and uh, i am so excited to try out some of them with you guys today first up we have this amazing dress i think it was called like a spider dress i'm not 100 sure where all of these things go <laughs> but i think that we can uh, make it work uh, um hello how good did this fit me i absolutely love this detail i actually didn't think that it would like sit well but it actually does and i love the length <laughs> i have a few options either i will put on this like slouchy top but then i also have this shirt and this one. oh this is so pretty just look at these um arm sleeves and also has like sort of a corset in the back there it kind of sucks to hide the dress but at least we will still have the um, skirt part sticking through and this is just for fun as well i totally understand that the hair right now <laughs> doesn't really fit with the vibe but i will show you guys uh when the hair is out as well take it on the top then Ja, det var väldigt, eh, vad heter det, eh, serien med eh, familjen Adams. Ja, ah, Wednesday, you say. Wednesday. Yes, it is very Wednesday. Look at the back, that is so pretty. And then we have this other corset thing. And I know it's a lot of layers on, layer on layer right now. But that's just because I want to try everything. <laughs> but also it kind of goes together, right? It is the perfect size for me i could not have asked for a better size and it sits right underneath my boobies and just like cinches in everything like cinches in <laughs> but uh yeah that's how this one looks i do have a really cool like cowboy hat that i also ordered because i'm actually uh in like a month or so going to the Lollapalooza festival and there there will be a party that has a cowboy theme so i thought that this would be perfect but it doesn't really go that well with the hair right now before we head into my studio and fix the hair i want to let you guys know that punk ray will give you 30 percent off on your order if you click my link down below there you guys can see all of the products that i have shown you guys today and also you can subscribe to the newsletter when you subscribe to the newsletter you get the 30 percent off and also you can be in the run for a hundred euro gift card and they have one of these giveaways each month so uh, you better go and do that. And now let's go ahead and fix my hair and then show you guys the whole look because it's needed. <laughs> you can't say that this shirt isn't like the prettiest thing you've ever seen. I'm so in love with it. Okay, now finally we're gonna take down this hair. And if you saw my last video, you guys saw that I've been completely obsessed with heatless curls. And this is one of my favorite uh, methods on how to do it and you guys are gonna see why it is one of my favorites because it's gonna look amazing the makeup is a little bit gothic uh mermaid <laughs> and then the outfit is more of a wednesday adams evanescence <laughs> look oh my god it's looking so good imagine that i did these right before i started filming 
I have been filming for like three hours though, <laughs> but still like three hours. And this is just a little bit of water sprayed into my hair, put these on, waited three hours with it, and then it looks like this. That's just crazy. Then I'm gonna brush these out. And they're just like so bouncy and big and voluminous. And the crazy thing is that they even last way better than when I do curls with my curling iron. You have to try this out. Now I'm gonna add these earrings that I think are very fitting. Uh, and they are for people with stretched ears, you see guys? No, just look at that. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of my favorite rings. There are some of my favorites that I think are just fitting. Maybe not this one. It's too colorful. <laughs> I don't know if this is the perfect outfit for a cowboy hat, but I'm still gonna try it because I'm excited. Is this the front or is this the front? I think this is the front, right? I don't think that I've ever had a cowboy hat on, but I do have had hats on. Should it sit like this or should it be in the back? Okay, honestly, the hat is not in my comfort zone, but I am loving it. The shirt I've already talked about so much. This is like the cutest shirt ever. I love the sleeves, but I also absolutely love how it looks here in the waist and the back, hello. And then I'm just gonna show you guys the dress again because I think that I didn't give it the credit that it <laughs> serves. It is so pretty. I love these details. Also, it has this like spider web, green spider web fabric underneath and this thing that you can like almost see a little bit. Uh, and this is how it looks in the back. The other items I will actually show you guys more in a upcoming video so just stay tuned for that i really hope that you guys are excited about that so yeah so that is it for me i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video i'm just gonna quickly go through some of the items that i've used today just to share with you guys what i thought first off the cosmos anastasia palette i actually really love it i do think that it would be more fun if the match shades were more of a pop of color but I understand it. It's not a 10 out of 10 for me, but I absolutely love the shimmers. It's just ethereal, ethereal. The bronzer I absolutely loved and the blush was also so, so pretty. Then for the Juvia's Place Illuminators, I love the shimmer that it gives. Um, the only thing is obviously what I've said already, the wand. And I can just tell as soon. <gasps> okay, the more I pull this up, the more um, just rips off. And I hope that you guys can see inside of this. You can tell that it's just ripped off more of the um, makeup wand. I'm gonna go in with one of these ones that I would probably not use. The Egyptian Glow maybe. Yeah, and I'm just gonna switch them out <laughs> because this, no, this happened again. Look, can you see that? Yeah, <gasps> can you see? Look at that. Look at that. Okay, that is really, really sad. So I'm sure that this place will um, fix that problem because this is not just one of them. Um, this is all of them, I think, now. Yeah, oh my god, what? I just pulled that up and look how much of it just like ripped off. Okay, that's not great. All right, so that is it for me. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Be sure to check out Punk Grave and my link down below to get 30% off on your order and also might get a gift card of 100 euros if you're lucky. So that is it. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed and we will hopefully see each other in the next video. Bye guys.